Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a monster analysis on the upcoming monster, Cory Extension. This is a YouTuber based monster. So um, apparently they finally added him uh, into the game, or I guess he's being added very soon. Um, and he will be obviously sponsored by uh, Social Point, so he'll have his own monster in the game very soon. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what he looks like and obviously take a look at the skills, whether he's going to be meta or not. I'm going to let you guys know. So if you guys are excited, if you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go and get started. Okay, right, so take a look at this. Let me go ahead and uh, scroll down a little bit. So, Kori Excansion is a water and metal attacker. Extra turn attacker. Oh, okay. So, he has some extra turn skills as well. He comes with uh, bleeding and physical weakness skills as well. Okay. Uh, his traits are rank 0 immune to poison. Not the best, but it is whatever. Uh, rank 1 immune to daze. Really? For an extra turner attacker, I was expecting I was, I was expecting more honestly. Rank three status caster applies bleed to all enemies that started the battle. So basically, you're going to be starting off with the AOE bleed to the enemies. Um, if they have a mega taunt, obviously it's going to go to the mega taunt because this monster does not have peers. Um, so yeah, the bleeding will be applied uh, to everybody. Uh, if there's a mega taunt, it will be applied to mega taunt only. Uh, trade wise, it's not the best. I was expecting something like immune to shock or immune to torture since he's an extra turner attacker. Um, I'm not sure if he is like. A actual extra turner attacker like a really good one where you have some skills that you can kind of like spam over and over and over again kind of like dark voltic or voltic redeem things like that but um yeah so there's no immune to shock immune to torture or anything really special with the traits all right guys so here we are on ml's twitter and um we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the skills especially like i guess his best skills because these are the four that are up by ML themselves. So one of the skill names is I speak Japanese and that is a physical weakness to all enemies requires cooldown. So basically you're only going to be applying physical weakness to them and that's about it. Um, cash just work. It's a water weakness to one enemy. He was moderate. Metal damage to one enemy. He has one extra turn to attack. So you do have a extra turn skill right there with cash just work. So the nice thing is that you're applying the water weakness first and then you're dealing the moderate. Oh, that's, that's not even water. What the heck? That's a weird combination. So you're applying water weakness, but you're dealing metal damage, which is a completely different element. Really? It would have been nice if it was, you know, moderate water damage to one enemy. That way you have the water weakness. You know what I mean? You're in a lot better. Ankle breaker. Okay, that's a funny uh, skill name. Deals moderate physical damage to one enemy, gives one extra turn to a tough. So there goes one of the physical damage skills. So I guess after you use I speak Japanese skill, you can use ankle breaker because you are applying the you already applied the physical weakness to them so you can go on and take advantage of that uh and then the ultimate or not the ultimate has the fourth skill it's called you still freaking talking and that is a moderate war damage wall enemies applies bleeding to everybody and then gives an extra turn i really like that skill i think that's probably his his best skill actually i mean he does have three extra turn skills but i don't know if they're actually spammable we're about to find out in just a second so take a look at the rank five stats seventeen thousand nine hundred and thirty six speed not bad thirty four thousand seven hundred thirty six uh, uh power it's actually it's actually not that bad and then 954k life as well kind of solid um what we're gonna do is take a look at this so unfortunately ml kind of downgraded honestly i don't know what they're doing now look if i were to like open this up now it gets so blurry it wasn't like this before all right i am so smart what i did was i went ahead and saved the image from my phone sent it to myself through email download it and open it up look at the quality it's so much better now um but back then i didn't have to go through all that so sp please please fix that um so let's take a look at the relic slots uh double sword i was i was actually expecting that because he's holding like the two swords like this if you guys see the image um of him of him uh the monster i'm talking about so yeah you do have the double sword but unfortunately there's no way you can regenerate stamina unless you're basically controlled or i guess one of your monsters controlled i think that's how the relic works i'm talking about the new sword uh one of the um ancestral swords uh that's the one that also that that's the only sword that actually gives you stamina but that's the only way that it actually works out so i'm not really a huge fan of the relics last. i think relics would have been better if it was like one mask and one sword or one banner with one sword or something like that you know what i mean like a mix uh, that would have been pretty sweet. So the books is exclusive, obviously, just like the other YouTubers. Adventures and Whalers. So only Adventures and Exclusive matters because for Team Wars, obviously. Um, but there is better, you know, Team War monsters in that exclusive book. Like, for example, there's Forge Labs. There is um, 
Who other what what other YouTuber is in the exclusive book? You guys let me know in the comments. I think all of them are, if I'm not mistaken, or most of them. Um, I think Darman is actually. Uh, both of them. Uh, so let's take a look at the remaining skills that we missed out on. So take a look at the basic attacks. Uh, let's go. That's the skill name. And it's a low water damage to an enemy. So there is zero cooldown, zero cost on that. So you can spam that as much as you want. But I don't think anybody's going to really run that. I would probably run that over the AoE physical weakness, to be honest. You know, at least you're dealing some damage. Because physical physical weakness would have been... Here's the thing. It would have been a lot better instead of the physical weakness if, if it was like a triple damage or something. Right? But no, just the AoE physical weakness. Uh, Samurai Slice, or S -S 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 Samurai Slice. It's a low metal damage to an enemy, applies bleeding to an enemy. 11 stamina cost and 1 turn cooldown. Mm -mm. Low physical damage to everybody, and that is a 1 turn cooldown with 26 stamina. And then the remaining we already saw. So, again, um, I would say keep tier 2 and 3 skills. That's probably the best thing to do. They should have, instead of uh, having I Speak Japanese skill, which is the AoE physical weakness, and the skill sheet stats, whatever you want to call it, that they posted on their Twitter. Instead of that, they should have actually had the other one called Grab Your Snacks and Relax. It's a heavy metal damage to one enemy, requires cooldown. Uh, it is a 50 damage, which is very, very high. Um, it's not it's not that bad. It's actually a good amount of damage. Two turn cooldown and 36 or 32 stamina cost. It's a metal skill. So I feel like you should actually keep tier two and three as your best skills if you actually do obtain this monster in the future. Um, the ultimate is called I am the Chosen, and it's an insane metal damage one enemy, removes positive size like from one enemy, and then 50% chance of instantly defeating an enemy, 20% chance if it's a boss. So that is a really nice ultimate, I really like that, because for Team Wars, that could be a bit scary. If this monster gets a turn in, what if it uses the ultimate? That 50% chance, are you really going to risk it? Uh, if this monster is not denied or anything like that, but I don't know if anybody's really going to run this monster in their Team War base or whatever, because... There's just better monsters out there, you know what I mean, an exclusive book. But maybe you're probably missing those monsters and you have your hands on this, then sure, it's understandable. So overall, would I recommend investing this monster? I Probably not, honestly. Um, I think that there's better monsters out there, to be honest. Uh, attackers, special, especially like the extra turn monsters or an exclusive book, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's okay, I would say. It's an okay monster. Um, n nothing really that broken or OP, I guess. But it's cool to see him get a monster though, that's cool, you know what I mean? Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys actually watch his videos. So he's a YouTuber out there that um, makes, um, I think, horror games or something. He plays horror games. Um, but yeah guys, uh, in terms of runes, I would probably give this monster 2 strength and 1 speed. Or maybe 2 speed and 1 strength, honestly. Now before I actually end up this video, I think you guys actually want to know if this monster can basically attack forever. Because he does have like 3 extra turn skills. So let's take a look at them. So this is one of them right here that gives you an extra turn. It's a three turn cooldown. This is another one that gives you an extra turn and it's three turn cooldown. And then the last one is four turn cooldown. So unfortunately, no, you cannot, you know, spam forever. Uh, I think the order you should go with would probably be like Cassius Work or Ankle Breaker and then vice versa. You know what I mean? Either one of them you want to do first. And then at the end, you want to do you still freaking talking. You know, you get that last extra turn skill. Um, by that time, hopefully you don't run out of stamina because this monster cannot regenerate stamina in any way because it's carrying double sword relics. So I would probably give mutated stamina runes that are mutated with like either strength or speed, obviously. So, you know, just so that he has some type of stamina there. Um, and then eventually you could probably finish it off with that heavy metal damage. So yeah, if you want to do that, you can. But um, it's an okay monster, I would say. It is it's not that bad.